Welcome back. This is episode number five of Mike Up or Shut Up. I'm Chris, here with Angie, Bodie, and Reagan. And we're going to get right into something that I had mentioned. I was talking about like two episodes ago, but uh, y'all are against it because you think I have a tinfoil hat at the house. Oh, but well, that's all right. Well, we're talking about aliens. Yeah, we're talking about aliens. We're yeah. talking about aliens. We're going to briefly talk about aliens because it's important <sighs> and because I want to do it. <laughs> I saw signs like last week. It was great. Well, that must have been a sign that I was supposed to talk about this tonight. Oh Sigourney God. Weaver was was really good in that movie, actually. <laughs> she was not in that movie? Correct. Well, yes, she, she was. was. She was in Aliens. Thank you. Oh, yes, she I, was I in Aliens. Signs. Yeah. I said signs, not Aliens. No, but Sigourney Weaver was in the movie of the people that we talked about. That is why. The documentary. The documentary. This is why I do the movie <laughs> recommendations, because... Mm, was it a good movie? Seriously, because I think you yes. might want to give that recommendation yes. because we might actually agree on well, this Well, I'm trying to recommend movies that I think a lot of people haven't seen. I'm trying to broaden their horizon. Well, let me just say that if they watch your movies yeah. and they're going to listen to our podcast based on your movie recommendations, we are to zero. Now. We're in deep. We're in deep trouble. Deep tr- <laughs> <laughs> we have negative viewers. I think we should go ahead and recommend Alien. Just be, the whole Signs. trilogy. Signs. Because we need people to like the movies. M. Night Shyamalan <laughs> Signs. Watch it. It's one of my favorites. Yes. Okay, let's I'm let sorry. Chris We're do No, no, no. No, no, no. We're talking about aliens. I'm just, I'm just uh, thinking to myself, you dumb bastards, <laughs> because the podcast is going to grow to a million a million subscribers just because just on just on my just based on my movie recommendations. <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. Let's talk about the green guys. I want to know. Can okay. I get one? So, all right. First of all, the reason why I'm even bringing this up is because of the UFO hearings that they're having, which are fading out because... Wait, who is they? You said they're Congress. Having Congress is Congress having is UFO hearings. Having UFO, having UFO okay. hearings, uh, which is going to amount to nothing because as we've already discussed, that's what, that's what congressional hearings do. They, they uh, <laughs> make a big money. splash, spend all of our money, and then fade out, and then everybody right. forgets about them. Yeah. So what's going on is uh, there's a guy named Dave Grush who has a top secret clearance, works in the intelligence community, and he claimed that other people, uh, some higher up than him, told him that we have alien spacecraft and alien bodies. Now, is he lying? Like currently in our possession. Right, correct. Currently and that we've had him, we right, and, and we've had him since the 30s. Since the 30s. We've had and- at, Machinery. Right. And yeah. it, it, I'm not being funny. It's at Area 51, isn't it? Well, he didn't say oh, Area 51. No, 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 he didn't say Area 51. Okay. But <clears throat> since you bring that up, um, you know, I okay, let me let me start off by telling my UFO stories and then I'll tell you how I got it to this point, I guess. Oh, wait. Um, you have oh, I do have a UFO story. Don't tell me oh, you yeah. Butt probe. I have two, actually. <laughs> actually did you get the did butt, you butt probe? Like yeah. Were you anally probed? No. Is that why you're no. no, no, well, not I, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't get probed. I probe. Oh, oh you oh, do the God. probing. <laughs> That's still gay. <laughs> still gay. Still, still gay. There's no, nothing wrong with probing. that. There's nothing wrong with that. I believe we've already discussed right, this. Right, There's right. Absolutely nothing There's wrong with nothing that. Nothing wrong with being gay. Right. For aliens, even if you want. I mean, that's your choice. <laughs> Freedom of love, you know all that, right? <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna tell. So I have. Tell us so I have three stories to tell, but I'm gonna tell them in reverse order. So around. Uh, I don't know, it was 1993, 94, somewhere in that area. Living in Virginia. My aunt and uncle. I'm sitting in the living room with my uncle watching television for about an hour or so. It's late, it's around 10 o'clock at night. I, I leave the living room to go upstairs. So I'm on the stairs walking up and I hear, I hear my uncle call my name. And my immediate thought was, damn it, I was in there for an hour. Why couldn't you tell me whatever it was you're going to tell me now then? So I, so I just paused and I didn't, I didn't actually go back down into the living room. But then all of a sudden, he screamed out, Chris, I'm not shitting you. They got something in the sky. So I was like, well, this guy doesn't joke around about stuff like that. So I immediately ran into the living room. And uh, he was looking at <clears throat> you know, windows on two different walls. So he was looking out one window. And so I ran to the other wall. And I, I pulled the blinds up really fast. When I looked out, he had two trees in his yard. And there were a line of green lights passing in between the two trees and I thought to myself holy shit this is what I've been waiting for my whole life but as it as I've been waiting for anal probing my whole <laughs> life that's, Take yep. me, yeah, that's it that's it bring me to your ship <laughs> that's right <laughs> yep so I was like oh my god we saw your phone so um interestingly 
my uncle Dale tells me while we're after, you know, because we run outside and there's no more lights. We don't see them. So we're discussing what we saw. And my uncle Dale said that he saw a giant uh, green ball, solid green ball in the sky. But when I looked out, I saw a line of just, you know, small green uh, lights. And then my aunt said that when she heard him call my name, she looked out the window upstairs and what she saw was a V shape. Of, of green lights and I was like how in the hell did all three of us look out within seconds of each other and we saw nothing that looked similar well about an hour later on the news it said that um a meteor had passed through and uh, it was a the of course the head was a giant green ball and then there was a v-shaped body and then the tail was the bottom of the tail was a little bit longer with a series of, of uh, like small green lights so that's where each one of us looked out at the exact right time to see a different portion of the of the uh, meteor. So it wasn't a UFO, but for uh, about 20 minutes, <laughs> 20 minutes is what we thought it was, you know. Right. So, so you're somehow trying... it still makes it into so, your alien. Well, so I, story. yeah. So right, I, just, I just want to, to tell us. I just want to tell no. By Here, okay. Telling us Here's the, you thought you no. saw a UFO and it was no. proven that my, you did not. My point was when people tell stories about things and they contradict each other, it's not necessarily because they're full of shit. Might just be because they are wrong. Yeah, just didn't know what wrong. they were looking. Right, exactly. Which, didn't know what they were looking at. Break it down to brass tacks. That is what UFO right. is. Unidentified. That's correct. Objects, so, which is what you did see. That's correct. So here's my <clears throat> my other story. So, when I was I don't know how old it was, five or six, I guess. I'm at my grandparents' house playing outside all by myself, and uh, I I heard like a humming sound. I look up in the sky, and above me. And it seemed like it was really low, low in the sky. It was like a, it was solid black. It was like a cigar shape, and it had um, four wings, two on each side, and on the, on the end of each wing, short wings. It was like a suction cup, looking shape. Okay, and I, so I'm looking up at this thing, and and I, and I just got an uneasy feeling. So I, there was like a um, <clears throat> a covered carport type area where I was standing. So I, I just sort of like I, I don't know it's hard to explain. I felt I felt weird looking at it. I knew some, it was something I'd never seen before, and I just I felt uneasy. So I, I sort of walked on I walked underneath the the covered area, and after a few seconds, I thought to myself, "No, nah, this is something I've never seen. Maybe I should look at this again." And when I walked back out, it was gone. Okay, never told anyone because even at at age five, I knew if I told people I saw that, they'd think I was making it up. So I never told anyone. Well, when I was in fourth grade. Uh, the school library had, you know, books on Bigfoot and, you know, Loch Ness Monster and UFOs, stuff like that. So I was, you know, I check them out. There was this other kid that was in my class. He was into that type of stuff. So we were always checking out the books and talking about things. And I had checked out a book on UFOs, flipping through, and there was all there was a couple of pages that had different um, illustrations that people had made of, of UFOs they had seen in the sky. And one of them was the exact thing that I saw. Now, does that mean I saw an alien spacecraft? No, of course. It doesn't mean that. But I don't know what I saw. Well, I don't know it what it was. It doesn't mean that someone else saw the same thing that you Exactly. Did. Somebody else saw the same thing I saw. So I don't know what okay. that thing was, but that's weird. Okay. So, unless you had a false memory. Unless I had a false memory. Yep, that's right. I mean, I was young. That's right. I was five, so I don't know. Or, well, but, maybe the MIBs <clears throat> flashy thing. Maybe they did. Maybe they did flashy <laughs> thing me. I don't know. So, Do you that, have a that, lot of memory of things when you were a young man? Yes. So maybe yes, you actually, I do have. I actually do have an excellent memory of when I was very young. Unless fact, they've upgraded the technology where they can selectively flashy thing you. They do f selectively flashy. Do they? You didn't so see the movies. You didn't see the movies. Certain memories. <laughs> yeah, they, they only for like that day. Memories. Well, yeah, but that. Okay, I guess. But then, then that yeah. some of them they like when you're an actual man in black, <laughs> and that you retire, they erase your whole career. You don't remember that? Yeah, you didn't see wow. those documentaries they made about that. Uh, called yeah, Men in Black. Documentary. Yes, yes, I've seen it. I want to. Will where Smith. I can get Will one Smith. Of those uh, little, uh, what do they call them? The Angry Cricket or whatever. Yeah, it is? yeah, yeah that's, that's right. What I want. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so here's so story. so here's the weird thing. Here's the really weird thing. So I never told anyone that story. Even even when I saw that book, I never told anyone. Like, no one will ever believe me. Which right now I'm telling the story and nobody believes me. But that's all right. I believe. So you. thank you, baby. So <laughs> <laughs> it's good to feel love. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. Interestingly, when I was in junior high, my grandfather 
whose house I was at when I saw this strange thing in the sky. Just <clears throat> we were talking about he was he fought in the Korean War, so we were talking about the Korean War and how you know different things. And he he was telling me that pilots would come down all the time and say that they saw strange things in the sky, which led him to tell me a story where when uh our mother was very young, he used to have a garden, and he went out one night. To, I don't know what he was doing. He was checking to for snails or something. He was gonna put you know put salt around the plants. I don't know what he was doing, but he went out there at night to check on the plants. And he said he saw a glowing orb in the sky that looked like uh, whenever you shine your bright lights into a fog, you know, you, had, you kind of see that reflective beam on. He said it looked like that off of one side, on the side that was facing him. And he said it was going, it was low to the ground, it was low to the sky, and it was going very slowly. So he, so he watched it uh, move across the sky very slowly for a few minutes, and then all of a sudden he said it shot up in the sky in like a, a grid pattern and disappeared within a, just a few seconds. You know, which is the exact opposite of what you expect. You think it'd be moving fast when it was low, you know, and disappear quickly when it was low, but take a long time when it was going up high. It's the exact opposite. So the interesting thing about that is that that's the exact same place where I saw my UFO. The cigar tampon. Yeah, exactly. The, yeah, my black tampon. Yeah. <laughs> you so the so right. I'm just saying. I mean, I, I don't know what all that means. I'm just throwing it out there because I never told anybody that, and I'm. And you wanted yeah. to and tell I just somebody. wanted to tell. I wanted, wanted to tell to somebody. Yeah, chest. I wanted to get it off a chest. That's in it. In a public forum. That's right. So that's what. Guys, I'm doing. like and, and right. subscribe. <laughs> Comment below. Tell us if you think he's a wackadoo or if you believe that his stories are real. We want to hear what your opinions are. That and means, share your story. I, we'll see, judge you as well. Yeah. Now, see, I'm not saying I saw an alien spacecraft. I'm just saying I saw something. I don't know what the hell I saw. Right. That's all I'm saying. Sure you did. So, of course you did. which brings me to these UFO hearings that are happening. So, this guy Dave Grush, who claims that people told him that we have aliens and all this kind of stuff, so they're questioning him about it, and they say to him, "Can you give us the names of places and people? All these things you're talking about? Can you give us actual specific information?" And he says, "Yes, I can, but uh, I can't do it out here in public because there's top secret information. It's against the law for me to give it. If I tell you out here, I'll go to jail." So what he would have to do is he would have to, uh, they would have to debrief him in an area known as a SCIF, which stands for uh, Secure Compartmentalized Facility, okay? Now, Congress has these rooms there. So he was like, just take me into one and I'll, I'll give you the answers right now. So there was like Matt Gates and some other um, congressmen were like, okay, let's go. They were refused entry into the SCIF. Who refused? I guess the military. I don't know. They were they were not allowed to go into the skiff. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I don't know what that means. That's sus. That is <laughs> sus. That's all I'm saying. The man tells you that he's got express express specific knowledge about the location and detailed items in our possession that prove alien life. Yep. And he would tell you if you walk across this threshold and he was denied to walk across that threshold. Yep. That's what I'm telling you. Too bad Trump isn't president, because he surely would have said, declassified. <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. I'm just saying, that is mighty Yeah, stuff. but he would have to know the information. You you can't just say declassified. Isn't all this stuff coming out because of Trump? Wasn't he the one that what? said? No. No. Trump did not say anything about UFOs. Didn't he... When he was president, started declassifying a whole bunch of stuff. No, you're talking about Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton tried to find out if UFOs are real, and he was unsuccessful. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Okay. One of us is wrong, and I'm pretty sure it's not me. I thought we discussed this in the last episode. He's always. Right. I'm. You always I know everything. Know that he's I know everything. Right. I know everything. Jesus I know everything. No, I don't know anything about Trump and UFOs. Okay. I mean, he's, maybe he did, but I don't know. I don't know I don't about know it. I, I can't Trump discuss it because I don't know. Either. If so. you know, comment below. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. No, so congressional hearings ended in the fact, and so well, I don't know if they ended, but they they certainly have stopped talking about it. So is it over? I don't know. So it but, just crashed whenever they told the man he couldn't go into this secret room. I guess there wasn't a whole lot more they could do about it. Hmm. For those of you who think I am totally full of shit, look up the Tic Tac video and the Gimbal UFO video. Did you say Tic Tac? Yeah, yeah, the Tic Tac video. TikTok? It's a Tic Tac shape. Tic? It's a Tic Tac shaped UFO that. Um, oh, Tic Tac. Yeah. So you said cigar, it, I said tampon, and other people hey, said Tic Tac. Right. 
Okay. It's yeah. a separate video. Yeah. It's an interesting video. I, I mean, I don't know what it is, but it's an interesting video for sure. And it was recorded by the military, so. Okay. 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 Buzz Lightyear? Yep, there it is. So. Apparently, <laughs> Trump actually made a UFO task force. Did he? Oh, this is the first I'm hearing crap. of. This is don't the first I'm hearing of. Don't prove him wrong. He's I, never I just, wrong. You know, I, I just had to point that out. You had to prove me wrong. No, he's never wrong. 2020. So Trump October. created what? What is it called? Oh, well, see, that's what happened. It was right before it COVID. Was, it was UFO Task Force. And um, he promised to look into the government's UFO program. And then we had a pandemic, and then that went up. That went by the wayside. So well, he did yeah. actually okay. start All right. the ball rolling. Well, excuse me. Okay. UFO Task Force. Yep. How about that? You could be in charge of that. I wish I was. He didn't even <laughs> know it existed. Yeah, the Nazis. You didn't even know it existed. You I also know. didn't know who created it. I can't believe you didn't know something. I'm, my life is crazy. Generally, if I don't know something, it's not worth knowing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, aren't you worried that <clears throat> poor little aliens will be No, they'll be fine. No, 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 no. They'll be fine. They'll be they'll fine. Be fine. Yep. I want an alien. I've seen a lot of stuff on social media where people are talking about they can have their own alien, like a pet. Is that a thing? Can we have our own aliens? I hope so. I mean, there's people posting. You know what two words go best with the word alien? Oh, my God. Anal probe? Yes, so why would you want an alien? Just saying. Is it illegal? (laughs) Man, y'all can't get off these anal probes. I don't know uh, what's happening right now. Well, you said it was the thing you waited for your whole life. (laughs) I'm wondering... If, how old are you now? Are you have you actually received it now? Or are you still waiting? That's classified. I have to. <laughs> can we I, can only, yeah, I can only give that information in a skiff. If we go into a skiff, I'm just letting you know I'm not putting a bottle rocket in your ass. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's not happening. Also, Bob Lazar, guys. Look him up. Bob Lazar. Bob Lazar. Lazar. Yeah, he is the most. Of all the people that have ever talked about UFOs over the years, his. Story is I would consider to be the most credible if he's telling the truth, which he might not be. Oh, who knows? So you don't even necessarily believe him, but it's the most credible story. I'm saying it's the most no, likely that I would believe if I was going to believe. Well, here's the thing: you got to know, and and anybody who thinks that there isn't life out there besides what's up on this planet is really narcissistic. Right. right? This giant grand universe with galaxy upon galaxy. Yeah, infinite. You have to know. Yeah. That's somewhere out there. So, I mean, maybe you know. maybe aliens don't have the ability to build spaceships and fly over here, but there definitely is aliens on other planets living somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Sure. sure. Well, I don't know why yeah. they'd want to fly here. If you think that you're the only thing on in the entire universe that exists that breathes air or you know can think, you're pretty pretty stuck on yourself. Right? Yep, that's correct. Pretty dumb. Yep. Let's call them dumb. Can we call them dumb? Yeah. I don't mind. I'm not afraid. <laughs> okay, let's move on from that okay, to another so next uh, segment. We we've yeah, discussed our yes. UFO and alien beliefs. Yes. And we've discussed anal probing. To, and we've discussed to, uh, to that extent. we've discussed that Chris doesn't actually know everything. I don't know if I'm ready to accept that. First of all, I actually never said I knew everything. You said I knew everything. I know, that's why I'm telling you I'm not ready to accept that. <laughs> now, it looks like we're going to talk about some of the YouTube and social media stuff that's which, going on these days. Which we love to talk about. Are posting reaction videos to everything. You know, oh, so and so releases a new music video. Let's watch it in Jason Aldean. Let's reaction to Jason Aldean's song. Or let's reaction to. And I want to, I want to know, like we talked about aliens and we're not believing that, that we're the only living being in the entire universe. Do these people think on that same line that anybody gives a shit about what their reaction is? Apparently they do. Apparently they do because those people make a lot of money. And I don't understand it. I, really what pisses me off the most is I, I didn't think of it. Well, actually I did think of it, but I thought, why would anybody... I mean... It's I don't, the dumbest thing ever. Yeah, it, yeah it's, I, I can't even have words because it is so mind-boggling i mean a video that says 
first time watching Jaws, I'm going to react to it. And I'm going to be like, oh, my God, click. I got to watch this. I don't give a fuck what your reaction to Jaws right. is. I've already right. had a reaction you to Jaws. I was sitting on my toilet doing a number two and pulling up YouTube videos thinking, hey, I really would like to know what Joe Schmo down the street thinks about uh, Taylor Swift's new video. No, I don't care. I don't care what Joe thinks. Yeah, because y'all are not the generation that needs to be told how to react to things. It's the young people. Yeah, it is. Man, they're dumb. Yep. <laughs> I think we should probably say that in every episode because we have really have to. We really have to underscore just how yeah. dumb they are. Well, yeah. I think you're going about it the wrong way. I think you need to tell them what they should think right. and feel. Instead of calling them dumb, let's teach them. Let's teach them that this is how you don't be dumb. Right. Well, Common sense will tell you. This although is how you don't be it's going to be a lot more fun to just call them dumb. <laughs> I'll wait. And it would I'll wait. be very difficult to change their way of thinking yeah. because we already know that if you could punch them in the face and tell them that it was raining and it wouldn't make any difference. Yeah, they would just call, they would just call us sense. boomers. I've been called a boomer many times and I'm like you dumb fuck. I'm not a boomer. Right. I'm Gen X. Right. Oh my god, but I would love to go punch people in the face and say boom. <laughs> <laughs> You just got boomed from a boomer. <laughs> Maybe we could start that. It could be a TikTok challenge. Maybe How we could react for a to boomer. it. <laughs> yeah. Reacting to a boomer's boom. <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to react to someone farting in Walmart. Really? Okay, now that's even worse. Okay. That we're going to go right from reaction videos. Let's just still have a few more things to say about that. But you bring up the farting thing. And uh, right now in the news is a Pinky Doll. Um, is that which, uh, now you, you're, you're saying in the news. Well, by in the news. news. Well, you when know, I say in the media. news, yes, yes. Because it's, that's what people it's are using making its rounds, yeah. now. Which is this weird sexual fetish NPC thing, which I totally don't get at all. An NPC... Uh, stands for non-playable character for those of you who have no idea what we're talking yet or aren't gamers. Uh, a non-playable character is in a video game. It's just a character created to say specific lines of dialogue when you interact with them. And that's all they can do. They just repeat the same lines of dialogue over and over again. So this, apparently, there's a fetish now where guys... And girls. And, yeah, I guess so. And girls pay people money to pretend to be an NPC. And they just say the same phrases over and over again. Like uh, they'll say, "Oh, ice cream's so yummy!" Nim, 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 nim. Right. And it is, yeah. And it is <laughs> annoying as crap. I yeah. mean, because they, they just keep saying the same three or four phrases over and over and over again, and meanwhile just collecting money left and right. But, right. Wh what? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. People. Yes. So, so you have to pay money to make them do the thing. That they right. Do. You pay them money, so, and then they say the yeah, like like you give them ten dollars, and it's. And then send a little thing of ice cream, and then so then she'll go, ice cream so yummy, nah, 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 nah. And, or and, you know, nah, 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 whatever she does, stick her tongue right. out. And then like there's some other phrases she says, you just uh, send money, and then like either type out the phrase or send a little emoji telling her what you want her to say, and then she repeats it, and she just and like she's doing it constantly because people are constantly sending her money, so she just yes. nonstop. The NPC yeah. does this. No, the no, person, person pretending to be an NPC. Oh, pretending to yes. be the NPC. Okay, okay. So you sorry. know how in a video game when you walk up to an NPC and you click on them, right. they have the same reaction. Right. They have the same words that they constantly it's say. It's a program for the yes. horde. You know, something right. like yes. that. So they they always say the same thing. Right. This person is acting like they can only say those things, and you have to click certain icons or things within their chat which cost money for you to click on Correct. in order to make them do those things. See, well, that's not like an easy way to make money. The thing she's is, making, oh, she's making bank. It is an easy killing. way to make money. It's a ridiculous way to make money. But why are people paying money? If, that's the question. No, it's, like, it's, it's something, it's sexual, but I don't, I guess it's because like, they feel like I have power. I can make her do this. I, I don't know. I, I, I would like very much to say that this is another example of young people being dumb, but right. it's really not. It's not. Because the people who are paying that money are our generation people. Yep. I know. I don't understand right. it. There's a lot of... There's That's sexual, how stupid yeah. that this is. Right. This is, 
I guess they think because look, I can make a nineteen-year-old girl lick a nineteen-year-old. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. I guess, but it's, it's still not, strange. It's, it's still you strange. Just got too much money. How much right. is she making? I don't know. I don't know. They, somebody said she's making like seven thousand dollars a day. I mean, it's, is it's, it wrong it's that I want to create my own NPC to make no. this money? No, no it's not wrong. No, it's not wrong. I've read a lot of people saying the same thing. Hey, look, if I could put myself on this, right. I would be but licking the ice cream. What's, what's, oh, but she's also easy. doing mm. OnlyFans, yum, yum, too. Ice yeah, she does OnlyFans. Oh, yeah, I'm also. not doing OnlyFans. But, I mean, but, but, I mean, when she does the NPC thing, she's not naked or anything. No. So, so that's she's not, so that's not, yeah. All I know is, if I came to you one day, it's like, hey, I got an idea to make money. I pretend to be an MC. NPC. NPC. And I'll be like, nim, 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 ice cream's so good. You'd be like, you stupid bastard, get out. Yes. yes you know? Definitely. Which goes to show you how much we know. Correct. But so, so what brought me to this is when you said fart, uh, this, now this is what upsets me the most. There was a woman, her name was Stephanie Matteau, or uh, Matto, I don't know how you say What's her last name. Matteau, I don't know. Uh, who was on 90 Day Fiance a while back. And she was farting in jars. She was putting rose petals oh, in jars. Oh, this is a Russian chick. She's Russian? I, I don't know if she's Russian. No, I don't know. Maybe not. So she was putting rose petals in jars, farting on, on them in the jar, sealing up the jar and selling them. $1,000 a jar. And okay. selling them where? Like on Craigslist? Online. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, she was selling them online. Had, I thought she had her own website. So in a two-month period, two months, she made $200,000. Wow, that's a hundred thousand dollars a month. Yep, and the reason why she didn't make more is because she almost farted herself to death. She was yeah, eating I like, like yeah, she was eating you know things like uh, beans and yogurt beans. and boiled eggs, and she was drinking protein shakes because she said <clears> the protein <throat> shakes made her fart stinkier, which apparently is what people wanted. So she was eating. I guess that's all she was eating instead of eating regular food. So she was farting, you know so much that her body was like, oh, can't do yep. this anymore. She thought she was having a heart attack. Right. And it was just an incredible buildup of gas. And the doctor was like, you you have to stop this. Yeah. So yeah. that's why she doesn't do it anymore. But, I mean, she doesn't have to do it anymore because she made $200,000 in two months. $200,000. That's $100,000 a month. At $1,000 a fart, that's 100 farts per month in 30 days. That's how many farts per day? I didn't know there was going to be math on this Three. test. <laughs> So three point three farts per day. That's know. easy. No, that, that doesn't that seem more. That has to be more than that. You don't even have to work yeah. that hard. I mean, I fart every single day, and I didn't realize it's a thousand dollars floating away <laughs> yeah, on the wind. Yours <laughs> probably ain't worth that. Jesus, it's not like acid. <laughs> That's, That's what they want. That's what they want. But I don't understand. Yeah, I don't get if it. Either. You, here's my. Here's my. I get the vision. I get the. You ever get visuals in your brain? When somebody tells you a story and you visualize that story, that happens to me all the time. And sometimes I really don't want the visual that someone's giving me. Correct. I really get disgusted by it. Yes. This is one of those times. <clears throat> this person that purchases a jar, a baby food jar, of somebody's fart, gets it in the mail five days later. I don't know if they're using Prime or whatever. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a first class. Well, I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works. <laughs> <laughs> but they get it in the mail. Do you have to, is it like a 200-year-old bottle of scotch? Do you have to save it for a special <laughs> occasion? Or do you wait for everybody to leave and you go in your bathroom and you just crack it open? <laughs> ah, I mean, yep. you just spent $1,000 on this thing. You don't want to just pop it off like it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? You got to savor that shit. I don't know. It's just the weirdest thing. It is the weirdest thing. It is the strangest. So apparently, the way to make lots of money is have no self-respect. I think that is the lesson that uh, uh, this she got episode of self-respect in her bank. Poor heard, heard. What other stupid ass ideas are we not thinking of right now? We got to start thinking of some dumb ass. I know, things. right? Golly, the, the, the stupider the better. Yeah, I know. I know. It's craziness. Yep. I would love to come up with. Well, I don't know. Do we want to contribute to the fall of our nation? I don't yeah, know if I want to do it's going to fall anyway. We might as well have we money. Might as well have a ball. Might as well, that's right. That's exactly it. You might as well buy some things you want before it all crashes. Stephanie Mateo. Well, no, it's not oh. Mateo. It's M A T T O was her last name. So I don't know. It's Matto, Matto or Mateo or something okay. like that. I don't know. Craziness. But but she made yeah. a little change. Yeah. I mean, I have never looked at a chick, no matter how sexy, no. and thought, man, I would love to smell her fart. Mm -mm. But that's just me. That. That's just me. 
I don't know. Apparently, I'm different. I mean, I have said some things like, damn, <laughs> yeah. she looks so good, I would drink her bath. No, I know, exactly. Like, yeah, said no, some crazy no, no. Things like I mean, yeah, that, I've said, yeah. Meant right, right. right. No, <laughs> exactly, yeah. I mean, I've said, right. It. Because it, think about it. If she was hot like that, and you said that, and she was like, oh, yeah, come get you some, I would be like, wait, that's crazy. Yeah, exactly. I would never, exactly. No way. I mean, I, you, I don't exactly. want to I mean, I've been on the construction site and been like, you know what? I, I swim through a pool of shit just to kiss her on the ass. Right. But, I didn't, yeah, I wouldn't actually swim through a pool of shit. Right, yeah, it's just a, a cliche, I think. Right. So, just because this has been bothering me, um, back to the NPC thing, wasn't that in a movie? Free Guy? Oh, Free Guy, have you seen Free Guy? Yeah. It's actually cute. But uh, wasn't it, like, that he didn't know he was an NPC or something like that? Or he yeah, had... he didn't know he was an NPC, yeah. I saw that movie and I forgot about it. Well, I'm just saying that no. kind of reminds me of this but kind of she, thing. But she right. knows what she is. She knows. Well, I yeah. know, but I'm saying that immediately when y'all, when mm-hmm. I figured out what y'all were saying, that it made me think of that movie. Yeah. Right. So I'm wondering if that's how she got the idea. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Good question. Yeah, I don't know how that came about. Yeah, how did somebody say, I'll pretend to be an NPC and I'll make a life? Unless somebody, because that, actually, that I was bet. Because money exchanged in that movie, I think. You know what? That. You know what? I bet it was. I bet it's the other way around. I bet that the girl didn't think of being an NPC. I bet somebody requested that she do it and said, oh. I'll pay you money. I bet that's how it went down. I bet somebody said, I'll pay you money if you pretend to be an NPC. And then she was like, cha-ching. Yeah, but I think something similar happened in that movie like that, where money was exchanged yeah, for. Yeah, honestly, acti- I can't. Yeah. You became an NPC or something. Yeah, I, he was an NPC, but I don't. I don't. I, don't I didn't. Yeah, I don't remember. Well, that doesn't mean the movie was good. Okay, well, I'm sorry, just had to. No, no, that that's all right. Mind. No, that's all right. Yeah, that's what the podcast is for to, to talk. So, <laughs> <clears throat> all right. So, here's another crazy thing that happened this week. So, some uh, a woman kept some old letters uh, from when she was in college. She was uh, Barack Obama's girlfriend. Okay, so she kept the letters that he wrote to her. I don't know why. Did she know he was going to be president and that one day she'd be able to re- release these letters? I don't know. I mean, I don't so, know. I, I kept letters from old girlfriends and things like that okay. before. And, and, all right. and they've all been thrown in the trash recent or, you know, since then. But I've done that before. <clears throat> they can't verify his birth certificate. You think they can verify these letters? Yeah, they did verify these letters. So, uh, because they're in his handwriting. So, um, and other reasons. But anyway, so the New York Post acquired some of these letters, okay? And one of them, he describes his mind as an androgynous mind. And he says, and I quote, I make love to men daily, but in the imagination. Okay? So that means he thinks about humping men every day. That's what he wrote this woman. Uh, Making love and humping. Yes. In his imagination. In his imagination. So... That has now led me to wonder, does Michelle Obama really have a penis? I mean, I used to joke around about it, but uh, if I have to go down this QAnon conspiracy thing, because that's where that came from. Well, I'm going to tell you, that story does not convince me as much as the dancing video where it's flopping <laughs> convinces me. Yeah, I've seen Big Mike <laughs> on, what was it, the Ellen DeGeneres show, Big Mike. doing a dance, and she... She was flopping her goodies like a helicopter. Yeah, she either had a banana or something in her pocket or a penis. But yeah. they said it was a microphone. Yeah, I was that came loose. That's I was what they said. right. I was ignoring those videos, but now I'm starting to question. Mm-hmm. And I'm starting to question because, as far as I know, that that came from QAnon, 4chan, the whole Michelle Obama has a penis thing. So if that's true. <laughs> What other things on there are true? I think that was before Q and Was it? I believe that started before. Well, I know I that know. I, I do know that, that people that were into Q and were really into the Michelle Obama as a penis thing. I know that because the guy who was my best friend at the time was totally into Q and He every single day that's all he did. He was totally brainwashed by it. In fact, I think that's one of the reasons why he doesn't speak to me anymore because I, I wouldn't go down that rabbit hole, you know? I used to push give him pushback on it. And uh, so let's talk about, you know what? Let's talk about some things that QAnon stuff. So, because there's some crazy shit from that QAnon stuff that people believe that so clearly were not true. I mean, I can understand, you know, some conspiracy theories is just enough where it's like a little crazy, but maybe, but this shit was wh- like. Have and you he, seen and, The Fall of the Cabal? No. There's uh, like 10 part YouTube series. Mm all on YouTube called The Fall of the Cabal. Okay. And it's all about how that begins and all of the 
craziness that you see in those videos yeah. is beyond belief. Red shoes. Right. Yeah. Oh my God. There's, ordering of hot dogs yes. and pizza. I know. And stuff. It's yeah. I have no idea what any of that is. And it's just so so far reaching that it's just So far, I know. My goodness. He used to tell me that uh whenever you see a movie and there's a um checkerboard pattern on a floor that they were sending messages to each other. I don't know. I don't I remember what the the uh checkerboard pattern was supposed to be a, you know, signal of, but and I was like maybe they just have the checkerboard pattern cuz it's a contrasty pattern that's just interesting to look at and it's just you know. So it's the just, pattern not actually the board? Right, yeah. So like like you know how like um not necessarily a, a checkerboard or a chessboard but like you know, like, you know, you have the black and white tile floor. Well, I'm just like asking, because yeah. Harry Potter had right. a chessboard in one of those And he, he was, yeah, and he, you know, he would say stuff like, um... Wizard's chess. Um, Steven Spielberg directed a movie before he was famous uh, called Amblin, okay, about these two kids that kind of hook up, traveling, hitchhiking and stuff. It's a short film. I don't know, it's like 15 minutes long or something. And uh, it's kind of like what he showed to people to to get hired on as a professional in Hollywood. And that's what he named his production company after, Amblin. Well, there's weird things in it. Um, that The movie is very strange, especially at the end. It's like, what was the point of this movie? But but uh, so um, my friend was telling me that there's a part where like he he holds up his, his face is halfway blocked so you only see one eye, which is linked to the eye on the dollar bill. And that's a message. That they're sending to each other, and uh, like there's a part where like uh, he's carrying a guitar case through the whole movie, and then he runs away at the end, and so they open up the guitar case and see what's in it, and it's got like um, one shoe, a, a book by Arthur C. Clarke, and like um, Maylox, you know, something like some weird shit like that in it. So he was like saying that it was Steven Spielberg telling. Uh, sending a coded message to Hollywood that he was a pedophile and he knew they were pedophiles so they were all together so he should be hired. Right. And I was like, what the fuck? How was yeah. that How was that a message? And he was like, well, you know, um, Arthur C. Clarke was a pedophile, which he was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's true. That part's true. So he has, happened to have a book by Arthur C. Clarke. All right. Well, then like the Maalox was because from anal sex, you got to take the Maalox or whatever. And then I can't remember what he said the, brown, the one brown shoe stood for. But I was like, I kept telling him, listen, even if what you're saying is true, there was no internet back then. So how would these secret messages be passed? How would people know what they were? Right. It's to send it to each other. How would you know it? That doesn't make sense. They they wouldn't know what the messages dude, were to send so to each other. Crazy, you know? Bro. Yeah. I mean it was so and it was wild. and it was stuff like um the whole uh cannibal club thing where there's a there's a photograph online of Chelsea and Hillary Clinton standing next to a building and there's a sign above them and and you see the cannibal you see the word cannibal clearly on the sign and uh so my friend and so there was a um website you could go to called cannibal club it was online I, i've been to it and and it would talk about how they they served human meat and uh you know you make reservations and go there and find dining establishment and she was saying that all these different people reportedly went there. Katy Perry was a cannibal. Hillary Clinton, Chelsea Clinton. I can't remember. All, he had all these people named. I mean, and this photograph was proof. But the truth is that there was a there's a uh, restaurant like in the Philippines or something called the Sushiable the Sushi the Sushi Cannibal Club. I think is the name of it. And so what they did was they took a picture in front of this restaurant and the person just clipped out yeah, right. the other words. So all you see is yeah. cannibal. To make it, and so I kept telling yeah. I kept telling my friend, listen. This doesn't make sense. It is against the law to eat human people, you know, to eat people. It's against the law. You can't do it. So you can't put up a website advertising your establishment. And secondly, there's no address on the website. There's no phone number. So how, even if they go to the website and they see the, how can they go to it? They can't. There's no way to get in contact with anyone. And if, and if, if you can see the place, then the authorities can see the place. They can show up right. and they can arrest everyone. Right. You know? Yeah, they sure but, wouldn't name it cannibal. But I yeah. think the theory is that the authorities are in on it. Yeah. Place are in on it. could show up and arrest everyone. Right. Or the people who are doing it. So they're not going to do that. I think that's part of the theory. Right. And it's just so, so, there was something that said something about the Pope being arrested, and they even gave like a date that the Pope was going to get arrested. See, that, that see, was this, so this was the thing, this was the thing, it was, it was called the storm. It was going to be uh, the day after 
Trump was elected president. Right. The second for a second term. Correct. For a second term, he'd be reelected, and then the day after, they had he had all these indictments, tens of thousands of indictments. He was going to arrest everyone on the same day. Mm-hmm. Politicians, CEOs, uh, actors, every you know, music industry people. He was going to arrest everyone. Right. For being pedophiles and satanists and all this stuff. Right. And uh, I kept saying that's not how the world works. Like. You know, and he was saying, no, 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 it, it, it is going to happen because that's why all these CEOs are quitting their jobs. And I was like, first of all, quitting your job doesn't p- protect you from prosecution. Right. So even if they were guilty and they knew that they were going to get prosecuted, quitting their job wasn't going to save that. Right. So that doesn't make any damn sense. But you know what does make sense to me right now? The fact that if he was going to make all these arrests and all these indictments, the day after he was elected for his second term, and everybody that's involved in all of these things knows that, maybe that's why they're fighting so hard to keep him from getting elected again for his second term. Well, my <laughs> my argument to that is, if you were truly going to do that, if why, why would you, would you wait? Term, right? Yeah, just right. do it right now. Right. Do no, it I'm today. Not, I'm not admitting to no, it. No, no, I know. I know. The fact that they're giving him such a hard time, trying so hard, Pulling out all the stops, breaking laws, illegal due process, and so much just trying to get him to where he's not elected again. Right. They're afraid of him. They are afraid of him. The deep state is yeah, scared right. to death. Right. And they're trying to make sure that they can keep their way of life going, whatever it may be. Yep. You know? Crazy, crazy stuff, dude. I yeah, I, don't, I, I never really bought into all of that. I never... I got I mean, some friends that were completely sold. And, oh no! I mean, and he was—he was. I mean, he went so far down the rabbit hole. He told me there was a YouTube video that showed Nixon that a guy snuck. There's a video of a guy sneaking through the woods up to a secret area where Nixon uh, is presiding over a satanic ritual, and he murders someone, <laughs> sacrifices someone in this satanic ritual. And he said, the video's on YouTube, the video's on YouTube, which he never showed me, by the way. And right. I kept saying, that video's fake, buddy. Right. He was like, oh, it looks, he said, it looks pretty real. And I was like, okay, let's just think about this. So you're telling me, I mean, all presidents, whether they're in office or not, have secret service protection to the day they die. Mm-hmm. So you're telling me that this guy, who's just a YouTuber, was able to sneak past Secret Service and video this satanic ritual. That's what you're telling me. Right. Yep. And his answer was yes. Yes. So, okay. Of course. Yep. Has well, that guy ever seen listen. any movies? Yes. Sigourney that Weaver realistic? can make a really believable movie with an alien. That's true. That's true. You so, know. I know. I'm just saying, those people that went down that rabbit hole, they went deep. <laughs> they went deep. All right. I guess uh, we're going to go ahead and start wrapping it up. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do you have a random thought before uh, I do my movie recommendation? What is your Reagan's random delusion today? My delusion is please, please do not listen to Chris's recommendations <laughs> for movies because I've already wasted time watching two of them and I'm not wasting we any had, more time. We actually had a debate as to whether or not Reagan and I were going to review your recommendations on the following episode of the podcast. Right. And I decided that that was not a good idea because I don't want to watch all of that crap. <laughs> well, I've already told you, I'm not recommending these movies for you because you have crappy taste. Yes. I'm yes. recommending for other people who love right. movies and they want to expand right. their horizons. And I can't wait for the comments. Guys, please comment below. Tell us what you yep. think. Email Let us. us know and, about what yep. you think about these movies. Or just save yourself some time and watch <laughs> something good. No. Wait I want them Halloween. to watch. I want them to watch so that we can hear everything that everybody has to say. All right. So the movie this week, movie of the day, is a foreign film because I'm just I'm just oh, always throwing oh, curveballs. Oh, you never know what you're gonna get. Oh, wait, we need to know already. if it's subtitles or yeah, English. it's subtitles. Oh, well, I have subtitles. the I have a Blu-ray and a subtitle, so I don't know if there's well. So it's a Spanish horror movie called Julia's Eyes, made in 2010. And uh, I can tell you who's in it and who directed it, but I don't know how to pronounce the names, and so I'm not going to. But the, Oh, I think you have to make an effort, the, buddy. That, uh, the star is an actress named Belaine Rueda, something like that, uh-huh. who uh-huh. who uh, I will mention again later because she's been in a few movies that I really like, okay. horror movies. Belaine so, Rueda. So what's interesting about this movie is uh, it's about um, twin sisters. One is blind, and then... 
No spoilers. I'm not gonna give away what happens, but in the beginning of the movie, she's murdered. The blonde, murdered. the blonde sister's murdered. Okay, and so then the other sister. That's very it, spoilery. No, no, no. It's, it's the opening dies. scene. It's the opening scene. If it's you're the telling scene. someone that someone dies, that's for, oh well. If it's the opening, it's the opening scene. scene. So she dies. So then now the movie is about the sister who is currently going blind. She's losing her eyesight. Um, trying. Yeah. She doesn't believe that that uh, it looks like her sister committed suicide, but she doesn't believe it. So she's trying to prove that her sister was murdered. So this movie is crazy. The the killer there the the attributes the killer has that allows him to kill people is very original. I have never seen this in any other movie. And it, it's because when you're watching the movie, you're like, what the hell's going on? Because, right. you know, you don't know exactly how he's able to pull out with the things off that he does. And you're like, what the hell is going on? When you finally find out what happened, it's very, very interesting concept. And there's a lot of tension at the end. In fact, there's one scene where I was like, holy shit. I mean, I was just like totally into like, this is some crazy shit, you know. <laughs> So, I think that's a pretty accurate description, honey. Because every movie that I've ever watched, I've always said, what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? And I've also said, holy shit, this movie sucks. So I think his reactions to his own, I think it's very accurate. I don't. I think you should know those words in Spanish. Well, he just said, Rueda, Ronda de Benina. Exactly. No, like, holy shit, how He's you say that in Spanish? He's trying so hard. Yeah. <laughs> so, and she doesn't know anything. So my recommendation, Julia's Eyes. If you can stand subtitles, check it out. You will not be sorry. Julia's I've never Eyes. Seen it. Yeah, yeah, that's you, you not can't that's handle the it. English that's why. subtitle. You can't handle it. Title. Oh, the yeah. actual title is more like. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it in Spanish. Julia. So, yeah. Julia's Benuevo. Your ojos de Julia. The ojos de Julia. That's, that's something like that. Yes. That's my guess. That's definitely Look, sounds like a movie I'm ready to check out. The Julia. I love it. I love it. Yep. So. That sounds like a wonderful, wonderful it recommendation. It is. It's, it's, believe me, it's, it is. Do you exactly. give it how many thumbs up? Actually, actually, uh, out of five. Uh, oh, 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 uh, make sure subscribe, <laughs> comment below, send us emails, any feedback. Yep. Yeah. Like uh, topic ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Give it to us. Let us know, guys. Let us know what you think. Yep. We appreciate you listening. If you if you're still here, then you're you know you're listening pretty good. So we appreciate that for sure. And don't feel obliged to watch the movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're not obliged. They they need to watch them because they know how good they're gonna be. All right. They can't pass you're it up. You're gonna find out in That's the right. comments. Are you going to have your feelings hurt if somebody says... No. No, okay. No, I will not. I will not. Because you know that your opinion is right. That's we correct. We tell him You're that his movies correct. suck all the time. I know. He likes us. Yeah, but if a thousand people start telling him, you know, <laughs> we're taking that $10,000 a day, he's going to really maybe have a little self-complex. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, guys. That's it. We'll that's see it. you next week. Mike up out.